1.1 uh, says solve for x and then uh, 1.1.1 we are given uh, x squared uh, minus x minus 20 uh, equals to zero if the question doesn't say um correct to two decimal places you know that you can always use factorization uh, but then if it explicitly says uh, correct to two decimal places uh, then you cannot factorize and then you have to use um, the, the quadratic formula uh, but then in this instance uh, the question doesn't say correct to two decimal places uh, so we know we can factorize uh, the middle term is uh, minus x and then the third term is uh, minus 20. What are factors of um, of minus 20 that uh, when we add, we can get minus 1 because the coefficient of uh, minus x is minus 1. Um, if you add minus 5 and 4, uh, you're going to get minus 1. But then if you multiply them, uh, you're going to get um minus 20 so minus 4 a uh, minus 5 and plus 4 are the factors of which you can use to factorize this question so we're gonna have x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 4 equals to 0 right and then x equals to okay let me not skip a step x minus 5 equals to 0 or x plus 4 equals to 0 then x equals to 5 or x equals to minus 4 uh, when you're at this stage and you're not sure whether um, what you have calculated is correct or not you can then take uh, this 5 here and then you substitute it back into into the equation if you don't get 0 then you've done something wrong the same is true with minus 4 you can just substitute it back into the equation and if you don't get um, 0 then you know you've done something wrong okay let's move forward 1.1.2 um, 1.1.2 says uh, let's solve for x if 3x squared minus 2x uh, minus 6 equals to 0 and then it says correct to two decimal places as soon as it says correct to two decimal places we know that we won't be able to factorize so we have to use uh, the quadratic formula uh, of which it says x uh, is equals to minus b uh, plus or minus uh, the square root of uh, b squared uh, minus 4ac everything divided by 2a uh, from our equation uh, it is written in the standard formula a b i'm sorry for that a x squared uh, plus b x plus c equals to zero uh, for let me just bring the screen back uh, for this equation for this equation we know that a is 3 and then b is minus 2 and c is minus 6 so to put that into the equation i'm getting i'm getting this here uh, from our equation right yes so to put this into the equation i'm gonna get x equals to minus uh, b is minus 2 so minus minus 2 uh, plus or minus uh, b squared so it's minus 2 squared minus 4ac a is 3 and then c is minus 6 everything divided by 2a a is 3 instead of doing this manually uh, let me just put it into the, into the calculator so that uh, we can save time so we're going to have x equals to uh, minus multiply by minus 2 that is just going to give you 2 plus or minus uh, so let me put uh, that term there in the calculator so that is the square root of uh, minus 2 squared uh, minus 4 a is 3 and then uh, c is minus 6 right and then um, and then that is 2 uh, multiplied by square root of 19 um, uh, divided by 6 
That's so x equals to 2 uh, plus 2 square root of 19 uh, divided by 6 or x equals to 2 minus 2 square root of 19 uh, divided by 6 and then um, let me go ahead and simplify that we get uh, 2 plus 2 square root of 19 divided by 6 uh, so here x is equals to 1.79 or um, x equals to uh, minus 1.12 um, the question says correct two decimal places and that's exactly what we have done uh, so let's move forward we have 1.1.3 uh, 1.1.3 uh, we're solving for x and we are given x uh, minus 1 squared uh, is greater than 9 right um, then we're gonna simplify our simplify uh, the left hand side so that is going to be um, x minus x multiplied by x is x squared x multiplied by minus 1 is minus x multiplied by 2 is minus 2x minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is just plus 1 right uh, which is greater than 9 and then if we take 9 to the left hand side we're gonna get x squared minus 2x minus 8 is greater than 0 right yeah. and then uh, we can factorize this uh, which two numbers can you multiply and you get mul minus 8 and when you add them you get a uh, minus 2 that is minus 4 and positive 2 so we're gonna get um, x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 2 um, is greater than 0 right so here we know that um, we have our critical values being uh, x minus 4 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0 so we're calling these critical uh, values right so x equals to 4 or x equals to uh, minus 2 and then um, I've done a video on this we can only have two um, Two possible answers is either our answer is uh, minus 2 uh, will be less than x but x will be less than 4 or we can have x being uh, uh, less than minus 2 and x being greater than 4 right these are our only these are our these are our, our only possible two possible solutions so what we are going to do um, to prove if the first uh, uh, solution is correct we're going to uh, substitute 3 into the equation right why am i substituting 3 3 is a number between uh, minus 2 and 4 right so if 3 uh, gives me a solution uh, which is greater than zero then this first option is true then the other one is not if three gives me a number that is less than zero then the first option is false and the second option is true right uh, so let me put that in the calculator so i'm going to have three squared minus two multiplied by three uh minus eight so if a uh, sub 3 right up substitute 3 i'm getting minus 5 uh, is is greater than 0 and clearly uh, this is false this is false so that means that uh, the first solution uh, is not true so our answer is x must be uh, less than minus 2 or it must be uh, greater than 4 right um, yeah, let's move forward and then we have 1.1.4 1.1.1.4 says 2 multiplied by x plus 6 uh, plus 2 equals to x and then um, Let me take 
these two to the um, right hand side I'm gonna get 2 uh, multiply by um, x plus 6 um, equals to x minus um, minus 2 right and then um, I can square both sides I'm gonna get uh, 4 uh, multiplied by x plus 6 um, squared oh actually I'm not supposed to have squared because I'm trying to get rid of the square root so this will be equals to x minus 2 uh, squared right so I'm gonna have 4 x uh, plus 6 multiplied by 4 that is 6 12 uh, 24 and then that will be equals to x multiplied by x is x squared x multiplied by minus 2 that's minus 2 x and then you multiply by that by 2 you get minus 4 x and then minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 that will give you plus 4 right and then I can uh, write that in the standard format I will get um, x squared uh, minus 8 x uh, minus uh, 20 equals to uh, 0 right uh, which two numbers can you multiply and they give you minus 20 but when you add them they give you uh, minus 8 that is minus uh, 10 and positive 2 right so that means you'll get x minus 10 multiplied by x uh, plus 2 equals to 0 so x equals to 10 or x equals to uh, minus 2 uh, this question is very straightforward guys I don't expect you to get anything wrong so 1.2 1 1.2 1 .2 is uh, the simultaneous uh, equations so we have uh, 4x uh, plus y plus oh equals to 2 I'm sorry equals to 2 or oh, we have or oh, and 4x plus y squared equals to 8 um, okay let me call this equation 1 uh, you can see that equation 1 is is linear there's nothing being squared so it's better if I make y or x the subject of the formula in equation 1 because equation 1 is linear we won't have to it won't get that complicated and then if you make uh, x the subject of the formula you will end up having to divide by 4 and then you're gonna have to deal with fractions but then if you make y the subject of the formula then and you will have made y you will have made you will have made one variable a subject of the formula without having to divide and get uh, fractions so let me go ahead and show you what i'm talking about so from uh, this equation I'm going to make uh, y the subject to the formula so I'll get y um, equals to 2 uh, minus 4x right and then I can call this uh, equation 3 right and then um, equation equation uh, equation 2 yeah so from uh, from equation 2 I can then uh, make y the subject of the formula there too. So that will give me uh, 4x plus y squared equals to 8. Uh, so y squared equals to um, 8 uh, minus 4x, right? Uh, but then we know what uh, y is in terms of x. So we're going to uh, substitute uh, equation 3 here. Uh, so we're gonna get 2 minus 4x in place of y right squared equals to 8 minus 4x so here we have 2 multiplied by 2 uh, that is 4 and then 2 mi mi multiplied by minus 4x that is uh, minus 8x and then multiply by 2 that is minus uh, 16x and then minus 4x uh, multiplied by minus 4x and uh, that is plus uh, 16x squared uh, which is equals to 8 minus 4x so we're gonna have um, 16x squared 
and then minus 16x uh, plus 4x that will be minus uh, 12x and then uh, 4 uh, minus 8 uh, will give us minus 4 equals to 0 right and then we can take uh, 4 as a common factor so we're going to have uh, 4x squared uh, minus 3x uh, minus 1 equals to 0 so if uh, we factorize this uh, we're going to get 4x plus 1 uh, multiplied by x minus 1 equals to 0 and then um, x equals to minus 1 over 4 or x equals to um, 1 so if x equals to uh, minus 1 over 4 what is y uh, we can pick one of the equations here and we use it okay we have said that um, we have already established that uh, y equals to 2 uh, minus 4x yeah y equals to 2 minus 4x so if x is equal to minus uh, 1 divided by 4 then y equals to 2 minus uh, 4 uh, multiplied by minus 1 divided by 4 or y equals to 2 minus 4 uh, multiplied by 1 uh, this option will give us so we have in 4 and 4 cancelling out so we're gonna have uh, y equals to um, 2 plus 1 uh, which is equals to 3 or uh, y equals to uh, minus 2 so that's how we dissolve um, 1.2 so for or 1.3 uh, we're supposed to determine x minus y uh, if it is given that 2 to the power x uh, multiplied by 3 to the power y equals to 24 to the power um, 6 so usually if you're solving exponents uh, you write the basis in the same way and then you equate uh, the exponent so what this question is uh, really asking us is to write 24 in terms of uh, 2 and 3 that's what this question is ultimately asking us to do so we, we're going to try and do that so we're gonna have 2 to the power x multiplied by 3 to the power y why do we want to write it in terms of 2 and 3 so that we can drop the basis and then we equate the exponent and then we can find uh, x and y right so i'm saying uh we're supposed to uh, write uh, 24 because uh we have six there so we're just gonna equate six to to um however we're gonna write uh, the 24 in terms of two and you know uh, two and three so this is equals to uh, let me just uh, open brackets to the power six so what are factors of uh, 24 um, factors of 24 so obviously uh, we have uh, 12 and 2 right um, you cannot get uh, 3 in terms of exponent you cannot write 3 in terms of exponents in such a way that you'll get 12 um, another factor we have is 6 and 2 uh, not 6 and 2, 6 and 4 and then still you cannot generate 3 in any way and then we have we have 8 and 3 we have 8 and 3 we have 8 and 3 uh, which seems to work because uh, you can generate 8 from 2 and then you can generate 3 from 3 so to generate 8 from 2 is 2 to the power 3 right because 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 is 8 and then you multiply by this by 3 as soon as you figure this out you are essentially done with the equation because what you're going to do from here on uh, you're going to let the 6 inside so you're going to have 2 to the power x multiplied by 3 to the power y equals to uh, 2 uh, then 3 multiplied by 6 that is 6 12 18 and then multiply by 3 to the power of 18 and then from here you can just 
uh, equate uh, the exponents, right? So we're going to have uh, 2 to the power x equals to 2 to the power 18. So x equals to 18, right? And then we have 3 to the power y. Oh, no, I made a mistake. This is um, this is 18. And then um, this is 6. So 3 to the power y equals to 3 to the power 6. So y equals to 6, right? So x minus y equals to 18 minus uh, 6, uh, which is equals to 12.